this video will provide an overview of the sale order functions in Dynamics NAV 2016. For this video, I'm going to be the sales order processor. We're going to go ahead and just do a new sales order. Um, I'm going to come up here in my ribbon and just choose uh, to enter a new order. NAV will go ahead and, and generate the number for me and I need to tell it which customer I want to sell this to and I can do a list of the customers and search the list and try and find the right one that I want or I can just start typing. So in this case I've chosen Coho Winery. It's matched up the characters that I typed with the available customers in my customer list. And so now it's telling me that there's an action required regarding the credit limit check. The customer has an overdue balance, and so it's just telling me that, it, that they have a past due balance. They're not necessarily over their credit limit, but they do have a past due amount. I'm just going to go ahead and, and say, yes, I want to continue to record the sales order. I can go ahead and enter the requested delivery date if I want to. If your customer has provided you with a purchase order number, you can go ahead and enter that in the external document number. And then we'll just move on down to our lines on our sales order. Now I can produce an order for a GL account, an, an item, a resource, um, or I can even sell a fixed asset. For our purposes today, we're going to choose item. And we're going to sell our Sebastopol desk in just the same way that I did with my customer. I just typed in the first few characters of my item description and it's recommending that this might be the item that I'm looking for. And it is, so we're going to go ahead and choose that. Today we're going to purchase one of these desks. And you'll see over here on the right in my fact boxes, I can see information about my customer. I can also see the status of the lines here. So I can see that for this particular item, on this sales order, I require one. I have six available. After this line is entered, I have five. And as with all of the other underlying fields in NAV, I can click on this and, and go back and look at the detail. And if I expand this, I can actually see my inventory availability. So I can see I have six in inventory. On this day, I remove one through a sales order which gives me a balance of five and so it will continue to collect that information and provide me with the details that I need to be able to manage my inventory through the sales order process. Now here you can see I've got a total and at this point um, I can just go ahead if I need to and go ahead and release this and at this point it's going to go out to the warehouse I might want to print a confirmation and send it to my customer I need to provide some sort of information out to the warehouse to let them know that it's ready to ship. When it's been shipped, and this might be an office person that does this, so it might be the sales order processor that manages this process, the shipping process. It could also be someone out in the warehouse, um, maybe in your shipping and receiving department that manages that as well. But I can see here in my sales orders release not shipped in, in my activity center here, I've got four that are ready to ship. And so I can see here's, this is the one that we just did here, 1016. And we can see it's released. And if I open this up, there it is. And a typical process for most organizations to record the shipment would be to come in and record the quantity to be shipped. And so that means when I post this transaction, how many were shipped? We only sold one, so we're going to ship one. As well, you can record the quantity to invoice. So for most organizations, they're going to do that as one process in one step. The, the shipment is actually what triggers the invoice to the customer. So when I choose post up in my ribbon, I can choose to ship, which would just pull it out of inventory. I can choose to invoice, which means I'm going to generate the invoice for my customer, generate the receivable, or I can do them both at the same time. And, and usually that's what most organizations do is they do the ship and invoice at the same time. So I'm just going to click OK. I have five. Now I have four items in my ready to ship. And so now the inventory has been removed. 
So that, that one item has come out of my inventory. I now have receivables for that customer reflecting that as well. So this concludes the video on NAV 2016 sales orders.